Some common mistakes that can be made when replacing a track is tensioning the track too tight when you're finished. Uh, too tight will cause that track to wear out prematurely. It can cause it to break, uh, break the cables on the inside. Some tracks like uh, excavators, they're directional tracks. You can put it on backwards. Knowing when to replace a track sometimes can be difficult. Uh, obviously when it rips or tears or breaks, it's pretty obvious that you need to replace the track. Um, I've seen tracks just physically wear out where they're basically smooth. There's no lug pattern left. Obviously you're not gonna get any traction, so you're gonna wanna replace it. Sometimes the inside of the track will wear out where the rollers ride, and then the track, especially in a skid steer, becomes very, uh, it vibrates a lot, it, uh, it's very rough to ride on, it's like driving over a whole bunch of speed bumps that are really close together, so when it gets to that point, you're going to want to replace that track as well. Longest and shortest track lifespan that I've seen, that's, uh, that's a good question, uh, on an excavator, I've seen them go up to three, 4,000 hours on rubber tracks. Um, I've also seen them only last two hours if you drive over a curb or you drive over something that tears the track and rips it. Uh, same goes for a skid steer. Usually, uh, depending on the material you're operating your machines on for a skid steer, you're gonna see somewhere around 1,000 hours would be a normal lifespan of a track and not excessive wear. Or you can go all the way you know, down into, if you rip it or tear it at any point from brand new till when it's worn out. Um, or if you're in aggressive material like rocks and sands and stuff, they can wear out in the five, 600 hour range, which is a short amount of time to wear out. But again, that's the material that you're running in. It's a lot more abrasive. So to change a pilot filter on a machine, whether it's an excavator or whether it's a skid steer, you do not have to change the or drain the hydraulic tank. Uh, you might lose a little bit of oil, but it won't keep draining, it won't keep on going. Now most machines, anytime that you change a hydraulic filter, you want to release any hydraulic oil pressure in the tank. So you want to pop the fill cap off and that'll release any residual pressure in the tank. So then you can safe to change any filters, uh, there won't be any pressure behind them or anything like that. We did a video uh, where we serviced a cat excavator. In that video, I went over each hydraulic filter, including the hydraulic return filter, the hydraulic drain filter, as well as a pilot filter in that video. I think we did a video with a John Deere excavator as well. We may have changed the pilot filter in that video. I can't remember at this point, but you do not have to drain the hydraulic tank to change your pilot filter. When you have an Allen plug that is stripped, yeah, an Allen plug usually is a plug with an O-ring on it on a hydraulic pump or a valve or something like that. Usually they're pretty tight. You put an Allen key on it, you try and turn it and it ends up stripping. So there is a bit of a mechanics trick to it. You can take a, uh, a chisel, like a, a coal chisel that uh, you find on most mechanics trucks or shops. You can make a little indent on the corner of the plug and then if you put it on a bit of an angle and you give it a good hard tap or two, it'll crack that plug loose and then you can spin that plug out and replace it. If you have a grease nipple that's not taking grease and then you replace the grease nipple and it's still not taking grease, sometimes it can actually be the end of your grease gun, the quick coupler. If it's not that and it's not taking grease still, there's two different reasons why it's not taking grease. The grease that goes into the channel between the grease nipple and the pin and bushing that it needs to grease has either gotten really hard and can't get the grease through, so you're gonna have to get in there and get that cleaned out with a screwdriver or pick or anything like that. If that's not the case, what you have on the inside is you have a pin and you have a bushing. And what you're doing is when you grease it, that grease is coming through the bushing and getting in between the pin and, pin and bushing to lubricate it. Sometimes that bushing will turn and then the hole the grease comes through is now turned and there's no hole there anymore for it to come through. So now you have to pull it apart, you have to remove the bushing and you have to put a new bushing in. That's the only way to fix that problem. Uh, you can't drill it out because a bushing is harder or as hard as a drill bit. So you're just gonna wreck a drill bit trying to get a hole through it. So you're gonna have to change the bushing. So we were asked a question about uh, where a bleed screw is on the hydraulic system for a 35G. 
The only bleed screw that there is is a plug that's on the pumps to bleed the air out of the pumps. Uh, when it comes to that sort of thing, it's not really a do-it-yourself sort of thing. Um, it can be dangerous depending on how you do it. Uh, it can cause a lot of damage to the hydraulic system if you do it wrong. So it's not really something that I'd want to have anybody and everybody doing just because of the liability behind it and the danger and safety to the person that's doing it. I highly suggest that if you think your hydraulic system needs to be bled or your pumps need to be worked on, I highly suggest calling a certified technician, uh, your OEM dealer, or anybody that is certified to do that type of work. If you have any other questions uh, about tooling, about where to buy tools, what brands of tools, how to do different things that we didn't cover in any of the videos, um, or any generic questions on what you'd like to see covered or anything like that, uh, please put it in the comments below on any of the videos that you see of us and we'll do our best to answer them, make new videos that help you guys get your jobs done and anything else that we can help you with.